One day this package showed up and it wasn't like any other package I've ever seen. It was a tool without a sustainer. Now this is not from Festool but it sure looks a lot like it. So here's how I got a hold of it and why. I bought it to try it out but I also bought this, the real Festool one. I mean look at this rubbish packaging. They actually look a lot like each other. So here's the deal. I was hesitant of making this video at all because I really don't want to promote these kinds of things. But on the other hand, I really wanted to see what this was all about and I wanted you guys to see as well. So I stumbled upon this page on Alibaba and I saw immediately that this looks a lot like the Festool ETS EC Random Orbital Sander. Almost identical. The colors differs a bit. And the handle on this from Alibaba has some kind of pattern to it. So I ordered this one, but I also ordered the Festool one to try that one as well. And I'm confident that the Festool one is gonna outperform this one, but we'll try them out. So in this video, I'll try them both out and I think come to the conclusion that this is a waste of your money and that you should save up and buy this one instead. But I will also be opening these up just to see how they compare on the inside. I recently did a video on Chinese tools and in one of the comments someone said this. I worked freelance in China for a while. I discovered that there are three tiers of counterfeit goods, A, B and C. A tier is where the factory that makes goods for the original brand makes extras and puts a different brand name on them, equals high quality. Now I don't think that's the case here because Festool makes their products in Germany. But he goes on, B tier is a replica, may have some parts from the original brand's supply chain and the rest is copied, generally with lower material grades or worse electronics, equals mid quality. Now this could be B tier because even though it's made in Germany, some of the parts might as well be made in China because I think that's the case with most things these days. We will see when I open them up to see if they share some common parts. And then C tier is a complete copy using low quality components. They are all cheaper because they don't require original R&D and don't pay their employees as well. Now this could very well be the case for this one since it's just seems to be made like a Festool copy. I ordered this one on April 18th and it arrived two weeks later. It did not come in a sustainer as the Festool one did. And uh, the tool actually has an American plug. But they sent this to go along with it, which actually doesn't have the right length of the plug, so it will not stay inside a European outlet at all. So that's a definitive minus for this one. And one thing I noticed right away is that this one looks like it's been used right off the bat because the pad for the sander is actually quite yellowed and dirty. So for the price, this one was $196 from Alibaba. And with shipping, it was a total of $236. And include the import fees were closer to $300. The Festool one on the other hand was $711, but the shipping was included in that, along with the sustainer and the power cord of course. In terms of specs, both machines state the same thing on their website. 400 watts, 6 to 10,000 RPM, 5 inch stroke size, and the weight seems to be basically the same. The cable length from Festool is 4 meters, and this one seems quite long as well, and it is quite a chunky cable. The dust collection adapter looks to be just a copy of the Festool one for clean tech. And the first impression is... I have no idea. Let's just turn it on and see what it sounds like. So this is a sound comparison and I've placed the microphone at the same distance from the sanders. And when I turn them off at the same time, the Festool one stops immediately, whilst the Chinese one keeps spinning for ages. So there's definitely differences in hardware. And the fact that it stops immediately is of course a premium feature that you get when you pay more. So how do they differ in sanding? Let's figure it out. But first, this is a machinist square that I designed and got made through the sponsor of this video, PCBWay. I simply went on to their website, uploaded my design of this machinist square with my logo and everything, and I can have them make it for me. 
I can choose from different colors and materials and I get quoted instantly. And you can make that too, so go visit PCBWay.com for more information. And thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring today's video. So let's go on and try them out. I need somewhere to store them. Hang on. So I have this piece of wood with some black marker on it. I'm just gonna sand it off, do some time comparisons and see what the quality looks like. And I'll also look at what the dust collection differences are. Okay, so I ran the test twice just to make sure it was correct, but what I could see was that the Festool one was twice as fast in both tests. But not only that, the dust collection on the Festool one was so much better. There was all kind of dust around the Chinese one on the piece, but also on the table. Uh, it seemed to be letting go dust from the sandpaper as well. It was harder holding this one uh, at full speed. Uh, the Festool one was more, felt more stable and easier to sand with. But I am quite curious to see what they look like on the inside, so I'm just gonna open them up. So the Chinese one of course came with an Allen wrench and so does the Festool one. So I'm just gonna start by removing the pad. So that's the inside of that. Let's do the same with the Festool one. So if I compare the insides, kind of looks the same, but it's not made from the same materials. Well, I have to say they look quite similar, but um, let's open up the rest as well to see what they contain on the inside. So I'll start with the Festool one. Not sure this is a good idea, but we'll try it out. It's the worst that can happen, right? Oh yeah, here it comes. Oh. So I'll put that there. And we'll do the same thing to this. So the screws on this one, they don't look the same. So I have to keep track of which one is which. Nothing like in the motor and the heat sink and just everything looks way better inside of the Festool one. Like it's thought through. The, the on and off switch looks basically to be the same. Yeah, they, do, they don't share the same components on the inside. So final honest opinion, don't buy counterfeits. It's not good for anyone. I mean, this isn't a total counterfeit because it doesn't say Festool, but it sure looks like it in regards to shape. Excuse me, but didn't you just make a video just buying this from China, which looks a lot like the woodpecker one? Yeah, I did. So the reasoning here is that this doesn't require that much engineering, it's just lighter than the woodpecker one which i prefer cheaper and it's just a ruler whilst the sander from festool requires a lot of heavy engineering to get all those powerful features i'm just digging a hole here am i i did actually find one that had green parts as well so they try as much as they can to resemble the festool brand they won't get near in terms of the quality of the Festool one and also all the premium features. Honestly, you would be better off buying something in a local store than buying this because 
I'm pretty sure it won't come with any guarantee. The manual is all in Chinese. Um, doesn't even come with a European plug. It doesn't sand as good. The dust collection isn't as good. I mean, you could just buy any sander in any store and it would be better than this. And I'm not sure why they try to do this because a good business, in my opinion, is run on the belief that you can make good quality products. And a business that's run with the main intention of making money won't last as long as a brand like Festool, which is family owned, innovate and try to make better products. At least that's my opinion. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. I paid for this myself. I paid for this myself, but this, this goes in the bin.